There we go. I think I got the camera close enough. Tip of the day, check your oven before you start preheating it. Because if you got a piece of plastic in there holding some chicken, it'll, well, you know. Fewer plastic does when you get it hot enough. Not, yeah. But luckily, I caught it in time. Yes. So it wasn't a problem. But I've been slacking, so we didn't have, usually I have this already cooked, but here we go. We're going to start it. Look at this guy. Gotta find where we want the half. This. Where will we, we're gonna have to be right here on this nasty part. A few. A few. A few. Jack, Jack. This gate, come here. Out, out. Come on. What was that person I was golfing with somebody today in a random thing and it was F A H space Q U E. Buckler. No, well it looked like or fuck you. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. 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 That's so yeah. clever. I think that's what they were going for. Great. <laughs> And I thought, with the right accent, that, that works. This might not be the right night for this. That is. This is a Yeah. You need that big knife. You need a sharp piece knife. Yeah. Okay, that's the thing. When you're cutting through something thick like this, you want something that gets wider. This one's straight flat. So this... This separates. Yes, this one you command the cut. That one can get... funky. I'm like really excited to get my tractor he. I'm going to have my tractor brought over from the other house because I don't want to drive it for two hours down the road. <laughs> That'd be a long trip at 20 miles an hour. That would not be good for anybody. You guys are going to get the uh, sneak preview to the blurple. No. Shmay. What's up, Smay? 713-2005. Shmay. 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 Welcome. I'm, I'm doing great. How are you? Shmay came in with a story. Wouldn't believe? I bet I'll believe it. Unless, like you say, it was in Gotham.
I mean, falling in a hot tub, that's supposed to like a, be a, a meat cube, not a... No, the bathtub. Oh, the bathtub. Well, yeah, bathtub. That's still supposed to be a meat cube. It was always oh, your bathtub. Oh. <laughs> See, you want to go fall in somebody else's bathtub. Ooh, you biffed your head. That's rough. I took a bath today. I survived it without injury. So I'm going to say you want to do that. I have slipped That's good. In, I have slipped in taking a shower and kind of pulled down the shower curtain and robbed the whole thing once mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. strained. I forget what I strained. One of my tendons somewhere. It was my shoulder. Mm. Ivy! Hi Ivy! I thought you'd be asleep. Well, I will tell you this. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you this many, uh, one thing that you can eat that will help with the um, stuff that you're going through there is turmeric. Turmeric root. Or just the powder, yeah. Helps inflammation. Big time. So you're going to want to put that in you. <laughs> Thank you, Ivy. I am. I like it. I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil in these halves. Just for fun. And then let's get a little bit of garlic. Emerald light! It is the emerald night! Everybody here. Thank you. We'll put a couple of chunks of garlic in there to cook. And then, uh, I wonder if these will fit in our thing of a jigger. Let me get my thing of a bobber. Let's see if they fit in here. Kind of. I don't think the lid is shut. No. Sorry. Right. <laughs> it's wobbly. It's fine. It's good in there. It's fine. Yeah. All right, let's cook, uh, let's get some, uh, Get something else. Cook it. Let's see, we're gonna get marinara sauce. We're gonna do the turkey. Check, check. We already ate all our mushrooms yesterday. Mm -hmm. So good. But we got some onion. Let's have, let's cook up some onion to put in there. That'll be real nice. We're cutting these into little bits that can get cooked up and just be for flavor. Be fun. Flavor fun. Flavor fun. Just a good stuff. Yeah, all right. All right.
I'm not eating coffee beans, are you? Yeah. Just say, you probably don't want to just eat them. No. no. <laughs> I'm so excited, so hungry. I'm pretty hungry, too. <laughs> pretty hungry. See, Mr. P waited until now to even start the stream because he's squeezing some extra autophagy. Squeezing autophagy. We did some extra autophagy because Pucci actually fasted today, so she's super happy and eating herself. Yes, you're eating all the, the stuff that your body doesn't need and all the bad parts that are no good anymore. Ew. Cleaning that shit out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one of the good things once you get your, you know, body balanced as far as your um, ratio and you're not, you know, you don't have a lot of extra fat cells that you don't use, like you don't put energy into them and take it back out. Because if you have like all that extra, what happens, what, is it, what happened to me when I was way over, what, almost 50 pounds overweight, I... Uh, my body was a breeding ground for other stuff, for bacteria and things like that. So when I would get a virus, I would get sick sick because I had this breeding ground for it to incubate and all this extra energy I wasn't using because that's what happens. When there's a bunch of extra stuff, it, like if you have a bunch of extra food, what happens? You either try to feed someone else, something else, or it rots. Same with your body. And that's why autophagy is important because there's always that rot in the body. There's always something that's dying or broken or whatever, and that gives your body a chance to take it, eat it. Proteins that are broken down, no good, pieces of your body. Um, heck, even cancer, if you have growths, if, whether they're malignant or benign, your body's going to start eating those first. So might as well. That's why fasting so, like, Crucial. Yeah. Welcome, stand by. Good to see you guys. I couldn't believe it when I saw that study about people who, in certain parts of the world that practice Ramadan, don't get cancer as much. 75% less cancer. And that's just fasting for daylight hours for one month out of the year. That's not even a real super long fast. Yeah. Twelve hours ish. All right. Stand by. I'm glad you made it and stayed up, Ivy. Yeah. Good to see you. Very good to see you. So we get our turmeric in there. Turmeric. Which, I mean, Google that stuff. It, it's like anti-every problem that you have. Probably because it's anti-inflammatory and every problem the body has ends up because or the symptom is inflammation. That's probably why it's linked to so, you know, helping so many different ailments. Okay, we're just going to cook these puppies up real good. Let's see, do we have anything else we need there? No. Just the turkey and the... Gonna have the turkey and the sauce and the squash. Tell me to make some of that bread, minus the spices. something with it. I guess that'll be enough. It'll be enough food. Those are pretty big. Oh yeah, they're, they're big bowls. And then like everything's just all contained in the bowl. You just go to town. <laughs> you just go to town. Go to town. Is that why healthcare providers always prescribe me ibuprofen and tell me to get out? <laughs> 
Yeah. Take the swelling down. Okay. Yes. Yes. Except for you probably want to stick with the turmeric because the way this does it is very good. Um, and if you eat black pepper, it really activates it even more. Um, but uh, ibuprofen takes inflammation down in a, in a way that can be bad because it's an anti-inflammatory process on the kidneys. And so, and they need to be inflamed a certain amount to do what they do because they need lots of water and they pass. So too much ibuprofen can cause the kidney to get, you know, calcified. You get kidney cells. You don't want those? No, I mean, I, ibuprofen is an amazing drug. I've used it in the past a lot, but I've since I've recently replaced it with the turmeric. But I can like crap. Ever that's... since you started using the turmeric, you hardly ever complain about your joints, your knee, or oh. like anything. It's like night and day. And it used to be all the time. Yeah. I mean, I still don't have an ACL on this leg, but it, and it still swells a bit, but yeah. nothing like before. Like, everything feels better. And I'm broken. Like, I, it shouldn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff's not right. And it really helps. It's like taking a massive amount of ibuprofen. This is how I'd feel when I would dose up on ibuprofen to go do my, you know, uh, foam up and fighting or go skiing or go play backyard football just to, you know, get that extra. And that would be good for a couple, you know, it would work for four, five hours. I eat this a little bit with one meal and it, I'm good all day and night. It's amazing. Yeah, I think it's easy to get the misconception because I, I had this one, at least I, it was easy for me growing up to kind of have this idea that, well, I just do what I want when I'm younger, I'll get hurt a little bit, whatever, as I get older, I'll just do what I want, blah, blah, blah. And then eventually, I'll just go, go to a doctor and they'll fix it. And it just doesn't do, do that. Doctors don't fix people. Doctors manage people's mortality. They don't fix anything. <laughs> They're just like, okay, yeah, that, okay, so that hurts. Okay, that, you know, here's something to make it hurt less, but not make you better. Here's something to, you know, ease that suffering. But they can't do what the body can do as far as healing. But there are certain things that the modern medicine is amazing for, you know. Like minor surgeries that can save a life, you know. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. In my water glass. Okay, what are we? What am I? What am I looking for? I want the cheddar cheese. I mean, let's see. I think this should still be good. 
I always check the cap. Is there mold on the cap? No. We're good. This is this is the one we used a little bit of the last time we did. So we don't need our to open another one because that one's like three quarters. I wish I had a, a uh, edited montage of all my whoopsies. A lot of times I burn myself and drop stuff and cut myself. That'd be great. Got a montage. So once these are about where we want them, we'll add the meat. Because that won't take long, and then we'll get that where we want it, and then we'll add the sauce. And we'll just do it all right in that pan. Might as well. It'll be fun. This is beautiful. And all that, a lot of that turmeric's all like really crisped up. I love the way it tastes when it's all crisped up. It's not real strong, but it's just fun. And then all the yellow, there's going to be all the turmeric flavor and nutrition in the oil. So that's going to give you the body what it needs right there alone. Yes, take care, breathe well, and sleep well. Very please. So you can heal. Breathe well, heal well. Heal well. Yep. We are way ahead of the game on all this, but that's okay. Oh, it already smells so good. Right? It does. Mmm, those onions. Wow. Yeah, they smell good. Oh my goodness. Oh. So about three quarters of a pound. I'm going to turn it down to low. Now we'll just kind of Spin this stuff around. It's going to stick a little less fine. You want, to, you want to get a little bit of crispy, crispage. I love the way when meat's got a little bit of char to it almost, you know. Pan char is not as good as grilled char, but it'll do, you know what I mean? It'll do. It'll do. Okay, we want a little bit more olive oil. We're sticking with olive oil for this. We put a little bit of coconut oil in there, and that's fine. That's good there. We're sticking with olive oil for this one. So. I'm tempted. I want to put like more in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Well, we can get some cheese ready. How about some goat milk cheddar? We got cheddar and feta. I think cheddar's better for this. Better cheddar. I do have tomato. I might want to cut up a tomato and throw it on. Mm. Mm. Fire blaze! So blazy. Need my vaporizer. It's a long one. This is gonna be a long one. Hey, the garlic's cooking up nice in there. Always bringing the blaze. They're so flaming. I love it. Love it. Watch the oven for me. Make sure it doesn't escape. So I bought new lights for downstairs in the D&D room because we went from one world to another that's much brighter and the, bright, the lights weren't bright enough. And we got these lights and I was looking at them and they're like for like garage lights, you know? And they got these three lights that you screw, you screw in and it's got three LED panels and I thought, well, this will be perfect. And I got the least powerful lumens. It's, it's, it might be too much. Might be, might be a little too powerful. I mean, I kind of got used to it, but it's, uh... Do we have Mr. Jack sighting? Mr. Jack! Where's my other puppies? Where's my puppies? Where'd they go? They're so addicted, I don't know, find them. They're probably with Aurora. They are connected to her. Shoes. 
She is a poor halfling. Oh, that's true. That's true. We roll for wealth, you know? And depending, usually in the caste system, you have to roll 10% or better to have, to be anything, you know. Under 20%, you might have a decent working class, you know. And the 1% are, of course, you're one of the one percenters. I think both of our characters, I rolled an 80 something, and you were like, Biscuit, come say hi. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> he was like moving on. He keeps thinking he's trying to get out of the way. He's like, I'm getting out of your way, Dad. I want you to pick you up, silly. What are you doing, Mr. Biscuit? You gonna give me kisses? No. Okay. Very nice. Now that's some good looking meat. Yeah, it's, uh, look at that turkey. Onion. Turmeric. And olive oil. Turn that up a little bit. Use a little bit of water to get it all out. You will need a little bit of moisture anyway because it'll, it's in a pan with all the surface area. Surface area, it's gonna cook down a little bit. Real easy like. Plus the meat wants more juice anyway. The meat said yes please. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack will give me kisses. Huh, buddy? Mwah. Can I kiss you? Yeah. 
He's a good boy. Oh, he's Sure, might want more sauce. That's pretty meat thick. Not that that's a problem. Meat thick, good. pepper. Mm -hmm. It's a mirage. Well, not completely, because you're here. So mostly. Only mostly. I want to add something because I'm done making stuff and it's not ready, so... <clears throat> it's making me want to add to the meal just to do something. But it'll be done soon enough. Give an indicator of how far along these are and how mushy our garlic is. Not very. Not very. Not at all. That is sad. But it means we're definitely making bread because we got a lot. You will survive, but we can only hope. cleaned up.
Now this garlic is not cooked enough to go straight in to the sauce. So we will get it cleaned up, chopped up, pan cooked, and then throw it in there. Good night, Ivy. Sleep well. You sleep so good. Oops, I'm making a mess of this. Let's bang. A smooshy garlic. Let me chop the garlic. Chippity chopity. Chippity hoppity, garlic gets cut up, chippity choppity, hippity hoppity, so easy friends. It's always so simple to make the food, it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. Mincing, mincing, mincing. Turn this garlic on low. We're going to put some, you know what, let's just put olive oil. I was going to put the olive oil butter, but let's just put olive oil. You can just sweat it out in there. Very good. We're going to use our dark rye flour and a little bit of chickpea flour.
I shouldn't have put that away. You're going to need more of that probably. There we go. It's happy. Making some dough. Some dark rye. Whoops. Probably a little more than we need, but that's okay. Just egg and go on this one. I didn't use. Sometimes I'll put olive oil. That's what I used last time. Egg, olive oil. I did turmeric and garlic in there. Had that Sunday night after my fast. Late night. Time it starts getting super like sticky to stick to my hand, I'm gonna add a little more dough. That's good. Mm, I can smell the garlic cooking. I'm gonna make breadsticks. Bread rings. Let me get bread rings. They make onion rings, but they're not.
I'll make some rings and sticks. She makes some little cookies. Stick. Planker guy. We'll do another planker guy. We'll call those little battleships. Those can be little battleships. There we go. Real quick, make some bread. Oh, it's getting chilly. Call the temperature. Mr. Pizza. Get your bow away. Red fingers. All right, well, at least that killed some time. Garlic is happy. Those uh, squashes are getting close. Can't take me in though, but let's see, let's do uh let's do ten minutes. I think those breads won't take that long. It's just egg. It'll cook pretty quick. Make a cute little pizza, I try Skipper. Skipper, baby. Mm -hmm. Can I have kisses? Kisses? 
Yeah, we uh we get a lot of varied temperature where we live. Year round it can be crazy. Although when I lived in Vermont I experienced the greatest shift in temperature from one year to the next on the same day. One year it was we're at the top of the hill at Mount Snow and it was negative ten degrees without the wind chill. It's like negative forty with the wind chill. It was NES day, no exposed skin. And it was amazing skiing. It was just a great day. We had the mountain to ourselves because nobody else wanted to go out there, right? And then the very next year, on the exact same day, we were wearing shorts and a t shirt. It was 52 degrees. And we were skiing. And it was awesome. So it's going to be a little bit brown and crunchy, and that's the rest of it's just going to be super tender. I don't even know you're really getting it in there. It's just going to fall apart in your mouth. But a lot of the most of the flavor is just sweating out into the oil. Mm -hmm. Instead of the smell of it. 
You talk about, like, instead of saying, hey, let's go to this restaurant, you just, like, scream the noise that that food makes. You guys think what I'm thinking? Yes! That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We enjoy each other's company. It's all day like this. Why is it saying that I'm welcome to the chat? Did I, did I go away? I must have gone away. Well, I had so much time, I had to make bread. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to assume full plum today. I, I, I am flashing. What does that mean? Getting out of my drink. Oh, full plum. As in the fruit, like you're one big plum. She's a great pulse. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. keep letting that garlic roast it. Give it a little bit more oil, why not? Oil is what's gonna transfer that flavor around. Sixteen hours. If I get past that, then I'm okay for a while. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know when I last ate last night, but it wasn't past midnight. So, like ten. Your know, last night was like around ten, I think. And that's like twenty hours. No. It's good. Look at you go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been at least a solid 20 hours. There was an apple pie that tempted me all day at the office, so I brought some home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good call. Good for you. Good, good resisting that temptation. Yeah, that's the way to go. Just take some home. Right. Don't say no. Say right. when. And then when you're enjoying it at home, you will be enjoying it when you're like, I could have already been done and passed that, but I'm doing it now. And, and, I mean, health-wise, as crazy as it seems, when you eat and how much you eat has more impact than what you eat. So if you ate, if you fasted and ate fast food and just had one meal a day, you'd benefit more than eating three meals a day of healthy food <laughs> in a lot of ways. It's crazy. But I say both. I just watched a video about the pineal gland and the third eye opening and how when you do open your third eye, you know, there's some pressure because it literally grows. And so sometimes you'll experience headaches. But one of the final stages of the development of it, once it really starts to open, is you start to be more considerate about what you put in your body and what you eat. So something that happens to everybody who goes through the process. Just happens. All right, let's see if these guys are done. Or 
for himself. Let me melt a little butter in there and give them just a few minutes. They require butter after my tasting. Scrape all our goodness in there. So a little bit of a couple minutes to let this cook in together. So I don't spill again like that. Hmm. Nice. That is beautiful. It's all just beautiful.
ですよね。Will be my offering. <gasps> You're welcome. Mm. Okay, guys. It's tripping Tuesday, so you're all probably gonna fall down on the way. Oh, okay. Look up. All right, hey, okay, no, 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 don't, you go, no, don't, fall, no, all right, there you go. So did you get your lactate and time to the last night? Did you two the I, chair? I was not no, there were no two D's today. Mm -hmm. I, was, <laughs> I was very relieved. Either way you'd be relieved. Sure. <laughs> I enjoy social awkwardness. Why do I do that? I don't know. 
Because you really only have to be embarrassed about something socially awkward once, and then you're through it. <laughs> like, let's say you're caught naked yeah. in a room full of people, right? If that happens again, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm naked in a room full of people, right? Because no matter what, you have to move on to, why does this keep happening? <laughs> True. <laughs> this has to happen to me. <laughs> and why did it keep happening? I don't know. Thank you for making this video happen. Mm, my love. Thank you for inviting me to share with you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for this food. Mm. Mm. sauce. So good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Too good to try to stop and describe it. <laughs> mm. Oh, 
best with that goat cheese on top. Mm. Those are the best bites. Yeah, I like cheddar cheese on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so warm. Oh, it's just bursting with flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cooked perfectly. Mm. That onion and garlic they added to the sauce always. Mm. Oh yeah. First time I tried to use garlic, I uh, was putting it in marinara sauce, and I had no idea. So I put the sauce on the pan, and I took a whole garlic thing and took the paper off it right. and put all the cloves just in there, <laughs> just like that, <laughs> and just cooked it all for a while. So they were still hard yeah. in there, and I was like. Eating it, and I remember eating the spaghetti, and I got some of the garlic thing, and I'm like, oh, okay, so this just flavors it when you cook it, and I don't know if you really actually eat the garlic. <laughs> and I kind of like bit into it, and I'm like, no, you don't eat that. You just cook it with it, like Bailey. You know, right. you don't. You don't. <laughs> remember the thought process I'm trying to figure out how to boil water faster under the premise that a washed pot never boils right so I thought if you give your attention to the pot but don't look at it <laughs> and if you can get more people to do that with the same pot it will cook faster <laughs> bunch of people so I was aware of it but not watching it. Yes, I was dancing with Schrodinger's cat in my head at that at the age of that, like whatever. Wow. That's that's metaphysics. That's that's quantum. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's also crazy, but you know. Without math, Einstein's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's about you, not the pot. Would you like some more meat and sauce? Um, I'm going to be good. Thank you.
that's how I know a tree makes a noise if you're not there to hear it. Because if one person hears it, right, if no one hears it, right, does it make a noise? Well, if two people hear it, then you know it makes noise if no one hears it. Because no one hears it, but two. And that sounds like just a play on words, but metaphysically, it actually proves it. <laughs> like the math actually does prove it. Oh, pure, pure review. Meat sauce again. Mm. I need more. My golden ratio. Mm. He's like so cute. I took a board and wrapped some rope around it and gave it to him for Christmas. And he loves it, he scratches it, he sleeps on it, and he, he like lays down and just puts his head on it. That's the cutest. He'll like put his arm on it and then put his head on his arm. He loves it. <laughs> so he understands it's his possession. Yeah, he, he, he does. He knows that that's, that's for him. Pita bread pizzas. Nice. Mm. Very nice. That sounds yummy. I used to do those where you get the bag of pita bread things, discs. And make all kind of pizzas and quesadillas. <laughs> picture of mine, I gotta throw that in Discord so you guys can see, it was really cool. And I sprinkled a little uh, salt and pepper on there and then dipped it in uh, some hot sauce. Mmm, that brought it to life. Yeah, she was like going at it with hot, mm, hot sauce. Mm. It was awesome. I use cocktail sauce. You do eat the chips. No, I take the picks and then I forget to punch them. Mm. I think after like my second phone of, that could take pictures, I realized. Why do I even bother taking any pictures? All they do is end up on my phone that ends up in a drawer that never gets charged again and those pictures are gone. That's just <laughs> what happens to those pictures. I kind of stopped taking pictures of my phone after that realization. Yeah. <clears throat> Until the first big realization of the big data dump, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just like how long before you just plow over the graveyard? <laughs> like how many people that have never known any of those people do there have to be before 
If you think about it, graveyard people are dying to get in. It seems like a good business, but once you fill the lot, what are you going to do? How do you pay for stuff? This content has not been accessed in 1,000 years. <laughs> it will be deleted. Things are just going to be like a cutoff in the year. It's going to be like a everything from like 2,000 back. And storage devices that can they can just back it up on will be so then nobody can access that data until <laughs> How's the bread? Is it just flour and water? Flour and egg. Cool. So it's bland. It's bland. That's when you dip it. It's rye, flavory. First started getting across getting big ass ones and we were Oh my god. Yeah. We ate a lot of those. We used to eat more food in a sitting because we were used to eating more. Our bodies required more because the food wasn't as good. So it needed more to get what it needed. And then I asked to work harder to do so. Obviously that exchange ratio is not as good and the metabolism. Trade. So now it's like the good food goes farther. Especially when your machines run it better. Yeah. Oh Price my field. gosh, price field! What's up? Hello! <laughs> good to see you. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's um. <laughs> hey, Baron. Baron. Baron Vagabond, good evening. Baron Vagabond only rides the finest trains. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, it's so good, I want to get the rest of that meat sauce that's there and just scrape the sides for mm -hmm. the rest of that's there. But I just, whew, I'm full. It's good, though, because the spaghetti squash, although it tastes a lot like pasta, it feels like pasta, and it gives you that spaghetti experience, Yeah. it does not weigh you down. Like, I am stuffed, but in 20 minutes, I'm going to be, like, good to go. I'm not going to have that... 45 minute food coma if I had pasta. Mm -hmm. Full, not bloated. Yeah. I mean, if I keep my carbs at like grams per day instead of ounces per day, <laughs> I, uh, I, I run way better the next mm -hmm. day. Wake up fresher. Mm -hmm. yep. Don't get sluggish in the afternoon. I eat a lot of carbs. 
and don't burn it off, I should say, if I don't like go run them in five tiles or something. If I don't burn it off, it's it's I'm so hungry the next day. Mm. And sometimes I realize how easy it is to just kick into a cycle of eating three meals a day and just I mean I can't even imagine where we'd be. I was looking at a picture of us when we first started living together. We were big. People were asking me if I was pregnant. <laughs> and uh, I just imagine if I just stayed on that road and just kept going, I'd be... I would know how easy it would have been to do that. Right. I have a brother that's one year older than me, so we have the same exact genetic makeup, and you can really see how epigenetics is really more dominant than your starting gene because we were, like, people thought we were twins growing up. Yeah. And although we still look a lot alike, we sound alike, you can still tell we're brothers completely, but as far as, like, every other aspect, they're not, like, mm -hmm. completely, completely different, different. different people. I don't think he's got his third eye open. <laughs> Definitely not. I wonder if that's why those healers, when they do the, the evangelists, when they do the healing and stuff, they hit the person right oh. in the third eye. Mm -hmm. And I'll bet you so often than not, that literally physically jars their third eye I, I, open I, I, just to crack because it calcifies. And so a sharp blow would crack calcification. And fluorides in the water and stuff like that go right to that. And that might jar somebody into having an epiphany, uh, you know, a vision. Literally, even releasing DMT, they're going to have a religious experience. Yeah. Very interesting. I want to do that. I was saying that to her earlier. I just want to go up to people and just flick them in the pineal gland. Just doosh, wake up. Wake up. But there's mm. laws against it. Whatever. Mm. <sighs> Blessed are we to have Thank such a meal. So Thank you so much. I love feeding you, especially after you fast. You're, it's, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful to watch you. Metabolize that wonderful food. <laughs> Beautiful. Truly is my pleasure and my purpose. Mm. I feel it. I taste it. My biggest, mm. my biggest purpose in life is to feed the ones I love and not feed my enemies. That's that's me fighting the war against evil. I don't feed them. The only thing I'll feed them is. <laughs> it's puppy cam time. We gotta see what the puppies want. What do they want? What do they want? Goodness. Do you guys want food? You need your food? Mr. Jack. Good sir. Is it is it time? <laughs> you better do, is it time? You gotta do your figure eight, dude. Do your little walk. Is it time? There you go. You gotta tell him. Turn around, there you go. Is it time? Ah! Yay! <laughs> He's gotta do his little prance around yeah. first. Oh, oh Mr. Pizog. Pizog. Thank you. All right, guys, we will see you Pizog. tomorrow for mm -hmm. a wonderful Wednesday. We'll make Yay. something fast and furious and fun because it's got D&D, &D, so who knows what it'll be, but it'll be fast and furious and fun. I love you guys. So breathe well, eat well, and be well. Bye.